To be fair, he's better than everyone in Game of Thrones. You know, he's wearing a fucking helmet. So, so give him that. Give him that, squirrel dude. Oh, fuck, I've missed two hours playing. That's going to be a shit intro for YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> We're about to see something worse than... than <laughs> what else? <laughs> Mr. Statsman... Um, Squirrel dude, do you have the stats on this one? I don't think it'll be as bad as Wood Elves, but it's it's pretty fucking terrible. Yeah, that, that guy, the guy in there was wearing a helmet, so he's just instantly better than every single person on Game of Thrones, isn't he? Did he have a shield as well? Does anybody in Game of Thrones have a shield or wear a helmet? I, I haven't seen one. Oh, Sir Arthur Dane had one, didn't he? Maybe that's why they worshipped him. Maybe that's why they worshipped him as a, as a god swordsman, because he had the fucking sense to wear a helmet. It doesn't matter how bad he is. <laughs> oh, I'm not all being horrible. Right. Let's get... Porous defence. That's a good idea, isn't it? A porous defence. <laughs> right. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. No tackle. At least I got a um, A block guy. But it's gonna be horrible. And then you just run behind. I just can't stop him just smashing a skink to pieces, a skink, a snot to, piece, to pieces every turn. Someone said, "Look, show the chaos team while you're spinning." All good, so I did. God, if they were skinks, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? The team would be all right if it had skinks instead of noblars. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the fucking chaos would have probably lost a, a zon team. Yeah, that is a good spin shield. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> fooled everybody. Everybody in the chat was fooled. <laughs> I'm not happy about how I played against the Wood Elves, so I thought another game of all this to get out of my system before. Hopefully playing well with oh, Chaos. Would be nice, wouldn't it? All right. <laughs> you asked for the <laughs> you asked for the chaos was because you thought I was spinning with chaos. All right, fair enough. I'm gonna have a look at this. Uh, they are billions. Yeah, that looks interesting. Might be 
interesting. Oh, another blo another blot. I watched Chappie last night and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. What a stunning recommendation, eh? Chappy, it was on channel five last night. <laughs> Jim Powers. <laughs> it was a good story, wasn't it, Federal? I never watched it because I thought it'd be complete garbage. And it was on Channel 5, so I thought, I'll give it a watch. And it, I don't think it was the worst film I've ever seen. I mean, I'll say that for it. So, you know. Maybe I might watch other films that I thought would be the worst film I've ever seen, but be pleasantly surprised when they're not the worst film I've ever seen. I thought Avatar would be the worst film I've ever seen, and it just wasn't that bad. <laughs> skinks. Uh, I, I wish I had skinks. Snots. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I just thought we can put them on. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is fucking rough, isn't it? Burp, burp, bait, bait, bait. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. I don't even know what I can do, to be fair. Put him in there. Three dice. There's only one thing that can be done here, isn't there? Oh, now I get the power. Are you fucking shitting me? You can try for a surf there if you want. (sighs) 
Yeah, shame I forgot star players, yeah. Yeah, the pit, but don't try to serve anyone ever. Because what's the fucking point? It'll just fail like everything else. Oh. Don't mark with ogres. Don't mark with people with a two strength advantage. And I'm a nine and thick skull. That should be in the guy. That should be on my bit of paper as well. And he was unsupported because I tried for this, sir. Uh... <sighs> yeah, the real pro to it was just <laughs> not play, not play blood ball. I can foul here if I if I power anyway. Pow. No foul. <laughs> Oh, I probably should have kept there. Oh, fuck it. GFI since he's at guard. <laughs> Run all the way around and then GFI to just move in one square. <laughs> oh, God, this is rotten. Just fucking rotten. The thing is, throwing them like cannonballs just doesn't even achieve anything, does it? That's the problem. That's the problem that I have with that plan. <laughs> yeah, blame cyanide. <laughs> Yeah, he failed the dice roll. He's already rolled more ones than that Wood Elf guy did in the entire fucking game.
the reverse play was always on, wasn't it? I don't know. He does seem new to Blood Bowl, though, doesn't he? The classic new to Blood Bowl. Well, he has rolled more ones than than the fucking Zon than the Woody Woody did in the whole game. I don't want to make a GFI. I guess he can make the last move at the end. Can't GFI, it wouldn't mean. You need two GFIs to make a cage, which is. Just outrageous. I right, can make those blocks later. Get the fucking pick up first. Okay. Yeah, four one one's the record, yeah. Maybe I could have thrown one there, but I <laughs> get more knocked down than you usually get. <laughs> I like these down to one reroll anyway. Oh shit, it's got blow. Oh, I should have gone in that square. Can't tell. I'm gonna have to put all skills on because I can't tell which fucking zones are the blitzers and which ones aren't. Even though Snotlings have a hundred skills, so it's basically unwatchable and unplayable. <laughs> right. One last frogman. Get a level as well if you intercept this. It's not going to do any of this shit. Why not scatter the ball with sidestep? Uh, yeah, don't know. Didn't want to, I didn't really put that much thought behind it. Curve <laughs> to be honest. That's the honest answer. The other way is it could, it could have gone, you know, the, if I was talking bullshit, I could say I didn't want it to scatter over here and make it easier for him, but I just didn't even think about it. Is the, is the actual truth. I can't move.
to one, isn't it? Dodge it, maybe it too. I can just get stunned as well. Because there's only two dodges, isn't it? I should have maybe dodged someone out of here, or two out of here, or something. No, I couldn't, Tony, because if I dodged with a goblin, with a nobbler, then, um, he wouldn't have been cancelling the assist, so... So I had to dodge with the ogre first to base him and then dodge with the nobler. Hope to base, base, base. Sure. Can't really get three dice. Let's just go for the two. Blitz. Yeah, exactly. What Jelly said, yeah. So that's why I went for the dodge with the ogre first to to cancel that assist, so that then he could do the dodge. Wizard would have been nice here, wouldn't it? I like two more ogres on the pit. Two hundred thousand cornflakes and milk. <laughs> Yeah, two fun games today, Sam. Fucking war dance, wood elves, then, then zones. Just the sort of fair and balanced games you want. Halfling's way better than ogres. 
way better. <laughs> yeah, one bit, <laughs> 25 bits. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it'd be that I can invalidate the hundred, the hundred thousand with like 25. Yeah, probably the two worst matchups for all, because yeah. To be fair. Necro with a C-POM, well, yeah, c -pom's horrible. C pom's pretty horrible because they just fucking C pom your old isn't you done. That's one right. right. I might have to start with Chaos, because I just really don't want to play... <laughs> really don't want to play Blood Bowl right now. Wanted to throw him. Obviously went Bonehead instead. Now I've got to do it from the tackle zone. Go Bonehead instead. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess technically Hawkins is slow, yeah. Dwarves yeah, dwarves. Yeah, dwarves must be the slowest person. The chaos of 1540 with about three fucking skills because <laughs> they've got plus movement and two plus strength. <laughs> Yeah, not really the fun. I had quite fun with them the first five games when I was playing playing teams that were shit. <laughs> like Ogres and Kemri and Nurgle and that. Teams that Ogres can actually beat, but when you're playing Amazons and uh, Amazons and fucking Wood Elves, it's just fucking garbage, isn't it? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum broad tip revise the roster to two August six rerolls and watch the chittering money roll in <laughs> oh holy shit <laughs> Sage is that you do you see a link to a Patreon page am I wearing my own t-shirt oh fucking hell <laughs> well that's fun at least okay now Mm. 
Mm. Right, giant it is an uh, iron gun, go boy. Alright, do the throw first. Fight him. Holy shit, made a pal. Like, I just can't even foul. One assist foul. Try to foul, get card. Oh god! Right, that's that's me. That's me done. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Fucking hell!
411 can't log on, about to be 412 unfortunately. Just took the two worst matchups. I'm just fucking done. <laughs> um, could have made two more fouls. They compete against Epom just by being higher strength, and like they do, like it is hard to hit the the te the Tomb Guardians and that. It is hard to, to to just physically get two dice on them, you know. But obviously, once you do, they do start falling uh, pretty badly. God, Amazon's with dodge optional really just fucking kill me now. Yes, TLC, yeah, just concentrate on the Brits, yeah, that's right, that's right, it was very, very nice of everybody to donate the bits, that's true. Yes, exactly, Abraham, it's stupid, it's really fucking, it's really dumb that Decay is just a big fuck you to Camry, it's so fucking shit, it's so fucking dumb, it's unbelievable. They are the actual most sturdy player against Clawpom, aren't they? That's the thing, skeletons are like the most the most sturdy player against Clawpom because they're already armor 7 against the Claw, but they've got regen and thick skull. So, like, they're actually the, the toughest players in the in the game against Clawpom is skeletons, and they're only 40k, so, like, attritioning the skeletons isn't really going to work for you if you're Clawpom. You've got to go off the Tomb Guardians and get them. Chaos Guide, I guess so, yeah, TLC. I guess too, I guess so. 
Yep, Vlenic. They should absolutely just remove that, yeah. Just remove that for free. It's so fucking dumb. I mean, the positionals get not getting thick skulls pretty fucking stupid as well. Yeah, that's how, that, well, that, but that's the thing, Eric, behind me, that, that's the thing, the reason that the, the Camry got nerfed to death was because the BBRC thought they were buffing fouling in the current, they thought they were buffing fouling, even though they, even though it, it was no longer, DP was no longer plus two, plus two. I mean, that's, that's, that's the intelligence that we're dealing with when it comes to the rules. This game's fun. Fun, fun, fun. I think you might have done Thomas Griff, yeah. I think you might have done. <laughs> exactly, Eric, behind me, yeah. Well, that's a... That's a bit of a... Bit of an oversimplification, Serene Cicero. <laughs> I mean, once they've, one, you know, it depends. If they're rookie wood elves, then they're obviously a lot less dangerous because they don't have dodge on. Well, if they've either got zero rerolls and dodge on five players, or they've got two rerolls and dodge on three players, so they don't, you know, so forcing the rookie wood elves to roll dice is fair enough. They've also only got two rerolls, but um. You know, once they're developed and they, everyone's got dodge and they've got loads of rerolls, then it's really not so easy as to force them to roll a shit ton of dice. And punching them is one thing, but you know you've got to get rid of the removals, haven't you? If you don't get removals on buddies, then you ain't going to beat them. No, there wasn't nerf to Woody's because the catches used to be fucking movement nine. <laughs> so they did work. They did nerf Woody's. To be fair, to be fair, the Blood Bowl Rules Commission did nerf Woody's. Um, so there you go. But they did. They did it for fluff reasons, because Skaven are meant to be the fastest team in Blood Bowl. Don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Just punch things. <laughs> yeah, but that was it. It was it was purely because the fluff said it was like I I think it's funny that that change was only made because the fluff said. 
Skaven were the fastest team, but they were they were like joint fastest, so they were like, we've got to rectify this. Don't care about, you know, the actual game or anything, but when it comes to, we can't actually say that these are the fastest if they're not the fastest. <laughs> we must change it. <laughs> I need a push here. Oh god, one dice pow, super snot, BZR, well done. Could be a foul. An actual foul. If I don't double one. The long way is over. That was a foul and it was it was fucking pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, TLC, that is exactly what that there was what there was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have fluff on minis that don't make sense, yeah. Yeah, I mean to be fair, I think they were right to not make human catches armor seven. Be, uh, armor 8 because they just clearly look armor 7 and it's fucking stupid to make them armor 8 when they look armor 7 yes in a perfect world the, the models could they could have made the models look armor 8 but also it's hard to make them look strength 2 like a human man a, hu a male human athlete being as strong as a goblin is fucking stupid anyway so Fucking Raj, didn't it? Fucking Raj, Terrell Owens. Let's make him strength too. <laughs> Doesn't really seem very sensible, does it? <laughs> True, Pedro Jack. I couldn't see him playing Blood Bowl though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Pedro. That's absolutely fair. Yeah, but... How could it be strength two though, man? It's stupid, isn't it? It is stupid. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's really stupid that they that they strength two. It is stupid. It's dumb. Un like well, unless you make all catches strength two, you know. I I I could see all catches being strength two and agility four. I'd be okay with that. How they were in Blood Bowl 2nd Edition. Oh, you fucking bastard. At least there's the, the gap here anyway, so I can just blitz with the ball carrier. Carrier blitz are the best blitzers. Kind of got to do it though, because as well, haven't you? Because they're uh, 
you know, it's just another bonehead to roll if if you <laughs> if you blitz with somebody else. Files to be made. That guy, maybe. That should make the ball pretty safe. Sent off for a stun. Good job on fouling, isn't it, eh? Two stuns and, and I took a card. Yeah, there's range strength three covers is massive, yeah. Yeah, yeah Skaven Line Rats yeah, and a Beast Man. I mean, to be fair, Orcs are strength 3 in Warhammer as well, aren't they? Um, yeah. Orcs are weird because it depends which fluff you go and buy as well. You know, if you go by like, the current models where like a fucking Orc is the size of it, how big an Ogre used to be, then obviously it's ludicrous. But if you go with like the original kind of second ed Blood Bowl Orcs, them being the same strength as humans is absolutely fine. So... Yeah, I'd take dirty play, yeah. Yeah, sons after woodies, I know, right? Grand Hill is fucking horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. Fash has Titchy. <laughs> I'd have dirty player for sure. No, Shawnee, no. <laughs> Shawnee's just always getting banged on. What a fucking shithead. <laughs> Useless bastard. Every every novel should have been called fat. Fuck's sake. Time to change the theme of the team, I think. Every replacement Nobla just gets called fast. <laughs> oh, God. I should make that three. Maybe. Switching sides with Olgas. <laughs> oh, good. What is she cunt? I guess so, Crazy Lima. Yeah, I do take tackle first on lizard men sometimes, on Sora sometimes. 
Yeah, but again, TLC, that is that is orcs in Warhammer, modern day Warhammer fluff. Whereas if you take Blood Bowl as diverging from nineteen eighties Warhammer fluff, then it's uh, you know it's different. There's a chance of a draw here, isn't there? Like a fucking slim chance, because can't can't dodge. But then if I'd if I'd carried with a break tackle, I'd have already been both down. Must the ball must the ball have been both down. I I can honestly see going tackle first. It wouldn't. Uh, it is something that I do with lizard men, and these are like the worst. The worst lizard men that ever existed. So he's given us a shot, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh god, that's a horrible bonehead. gone so movement stops quite like to try and dodge and just get another roller forward oh well go stupid instead <laughs> fucking hell oh Yeah, would have won the reroll. Yeah, I mean it wasn't it wasn't critical. Obviously, the 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 last two turns are the most critical, aren't they, for getting forward? So. I might hand off to that snotling, and then run there, and then if he gets not powered, he gets to sidestep the end zone. Doesn't he? That will go break tackle as well. Oh, that's a killer this one dies. Oh, fucking course it is. I knew it would be a pal. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Played two armor seven teams and just got beaten to fuck by them both times. 
without my e or anything. Looking at ogres, two ogres Kaz, one ogre KO. No block there though, so he's the only blocker. And he can't reach, so. Right, five plus handoff, is there any way to make that better? Not really. Can try to blitz him and then dodge out. That seems fucking stupid. Should have done all the save moves first, but just didn't care. Alright, good. Alright, let's do the save moves then. Oh no, I could do a throw I could do a toss here, couldn't I? Should have done that first. So they're all having to dodge. Yeah. I should GFI. There's no. There's just literally no point in him doing that. If he doesn't pound me, oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I should have gone that way. Made more dodges, but it meant, would have meant he was hard to get there. Oh, fuck's sake. There's no excuse for playing this bad, is there? Ogres are not. That was just horrible. Should have gone back. Made more dodges, gone back the other way. Yeah, but it was the payoff though, wasn't it? That was the thing, Serene Cicero. If I'd made the blitz and then, uh, you know, got the push and then dodged to here, even with one, two, three, four, five, I'm only there, I'd still get based again next time. Whereas this, the payoff, I wanted to go that way. I don't know why I went the other way. Oh, because he followed up or something. Oh, I blocked myself. I don't know. I wanted to go the other way, so I couldn't get hit by block. But now I'm going to get hit by block, which wasn't very clever, was it? And he would have taken the block down anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously, Kazing and KO and Snotlings is going to happen. That's not anything I'd really complain about, but uh, the, the Augers have been wrecked here. Oh, he doesn't even have to dodge. Fucking two Ds and three. Good play, to be fair. Good play. Far better play. Maybe he could have caught me anyway, then. One, two, three, four, five, six. He would have probably caught me if I'd gone the right way. But that again, wouldn't matter. He'd have taken the ball down. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to care about the fucking safe moves first, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's so fucking lost. <laughs> when the game is this fucking far gone, it is hard to care, isn't it? Mm. 
Half a chance. No. <laughs> no, I just want the game to end sooner, maybe. <sighs> Throwing teammates is trash. And it means that you get cast by somebody without mighty blow, of course. The ogres that are fucking armor five, isn't it? Holy shit! Been so banged on the first few games, were so glorious. And this isn't even a rowdy team. It's not like the the necros that like had claw and stuff didn't do anything, or the you know the Nurgle with the beast and stuff they didn't really do anything. At least the treatment had mighty blow and strength six. But the Amazons to make this many cars and ogres is ridiculous. Finally got you two older <laughs> Oh god. Can replace him at least. Just horrible, isn't it? Seventy four percent of dodges and when they're two pluses is pretty pretty fucking terrible, isn't it? Really? Uh boneheads were good. Block dice, 11 pals. <laughs> Not really good enough. I hate that the D6s don't mean anything. And also the armor injury doesn't really mean anything because some were snotlings. On Noblars. I'd take sure feet, sleepless if, personally. I would just bench him and, you know. I guess that it blocks more useful for the ladder. But um, sure, feet and benching him is better for the playoffs, isn't it? I'm not going to trash the team. It's four one two. There's uh, you know there's a fucking ogres at the end of the day. <laughs> you can't just give up on ogres, can you? Like you know, f sitting on four one zero was the best the best option because ogres just get worse the more you play with them. <laughs> Edge isn't even good, is it? What does it even do? Makes the landing rolls better. Diving tackle, maybe. And, uh, yeah, even though guard's good, you can't have an armor raid ogre on the team. It's just not even possible. So, you can get uh, somebody here. There'll be six ogres. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. I could have just counted how many were fucking two, two missed next game. I guess diamond tackle. We can have a raffle. We can have a raffle for the uh, for the new ogre. Um, fucking hell. They were, also, they were a horrible pair of games to have back to back. After they were 4 1 0, which was amazing. To uh, Like 4 1 2 is still fine for ogres. It's just the horrible matchups, wasn't they? The two, the two worst matchups, literally. Uh, with some horrible dice in terms of ogres getting fucked to death. 
Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.